Hello folks, today I'm going to show you how uh, Maya muscle work and this is a two-part series the first one I'm focusing on uh, Maya muscle which is uh, utilizing all the joints which in the past a lot of studio has been using joint as a muscle just like uh, in this case and also um, recently Maya muscle has been improving a lot there are a lot of plugins as well for Maya 3D Studio Mac and a lot more but in this series I will focus mainly on uh, using joint as the muscle for a production house especially if you are a small from a production house or a freelancer working at home and also I will show you an advanced muscle uh, which is not a simple muscle that you have already seen a lot of tutorial making using this one I will use the advanced ones that is being used in most studio as well however it is quite uh, computational heavy especially if you are a um, home user if it suits your uh, deadline then do it if it doesn't suit uh, I prefer I would recommend that you would come back and work on this so I will show you all the way how to do that uh, so the last choice depend on you uh, I totally use uh, my uh, joint as a muscle base the reason is because it is uh, quite fast and easy for me to control uh, while I can play along with the uh, muscle system especially uh, if I actually want to have a particular set of uh, you know kind of angry or whatever I can use that to manipulate uh, the way it, uh, how it looks in uh, in the third part theory which is I'm going to release in the future I will combine the two which is uh, this muscle and also Maya muscle uh, Maya advanced muscle systems together how you can use Maya muscles to avoid a certain place uh, where there is a kind of like uh, stupidity in the skin and also you can use it to control something like that especially when your character is moving or dragging something okay um, so now I show you how uh, this muscle system using the joint work this is the rotation you see uh, you see how this kind of muscle under the armpit I don't know what it is called I forget it move and also how the other joint is uh, moving to compensate that and especially when I wait when I raise it up uh, you see uh, the chest muscle is moving and also the shoulder here <laughs> is also moving to compensate actually our arm does not go over like this because if it uh, the moment your elbow reach beyond your shoulder everything will have, will have to come to the clavicle so the clavicle will move like that okay and also when you move the clavicle this way you see there is a kind of scent of uh, you know some kind of like um, this joint this scapular joint is moving along as well okay so I undo it backward um, this is totally using joint as a muscle and also in here if you bend both arm look at that you look at how uh, the muscle is see see that actually I can make it better than that but I prefer that way see it has when it uh, when it bend the armpit is bulging up and also the tricep if you look ahead the tricep is moving along to compensate just the way you do and also the compression in here at this uh, kind you see and you look at the elbow as well the elbow is uh, protruding see that's how I use um, everything to compensate just only the joint only you can achieve this easily with the um, Maya muscle system however it is a bit complicated especially if you are new to Maya advanced muscle system it will be a little bit headache for you not a bit headache it's a lot headache and also the Maya muscle cast tend to be heavy for your system as well this is all done by set driven key however I have a lot of uh, this set up <coughs> as a set driven key um, in the meantime uh, this set driven key I will switch it to linear so everything yeah everything will be working perfectly I have each of that as a set driven key 
I mean the group on top of it as a set driven key and also uh, another group to control the join just for it to um, have an extra control especially when I want to animate it to be like that okay so all of these are set driven key see each of it and I play with the um, the rest of that just to make sure it looks okay and if I'm not happy I can tweak around with, with this okay and also the twist as well here you see the on twist okay usually you don't just twist it that way you will have the um, elbow to compensate when you move it around see uh, I bet for the arm twist you will have certain problem as well when you use muscle but there is always a way to set it up and I want you to take a look at the bicep when I twist it to see the bicep is moving along I try to mimic the um, original muscle because I, I do it myself at home and then I look at my muscle moving I'm a flabby guy in a way so Okay, and see when I rotate the arm up and down, see that here your muscle is moving. And if you want to look closely at the joint, so these are all done by using set driven key. See, set driven key is moving, and it's uh, a way of between 0 to 10 or minus 10, it depends on how you set it up. Okay, and also with the um, if you look at the butt, the butt is also the same. When I move it up, see, it tries to compensate, but since everything is covered under the uh, belong under clotting, so it's okay. And then here as well, you see it compensate for that. And for the like and knee muscle, I also have that as a set driven key. See when move the joint muscle okay I don't play around along with this but a little bit I, I made a little bit of that however uh, down here down here I wanted to take a look at the uh, front cuff here when it move see especially if you look at the wireframe you will see the difference uh, that here your muscle is moving I use it that way because I can control it when a character is punching or moving everything. It has the flexibility, you know. So yeah, you don't push it that far because it looks weird here. Anyway, you just do it. I mean, I am I am an animator, so I know how to animate that, not to look stupid. Okay, plus this one has a displacement map, so seem tend to be okay uh, when everything is smoothed out so basically everything is set driven key um, you see each joint is parent according to the corresponding uh, joint and we have a problem here where I don't put any joint in there actually I can compensate that but I don't want to do it because uh, this class is going to cover that up so I'm not going to be worried about that uh, thing is going to be fine okay so I hope you understand this is the first stuff that you are going to use uh, joint base as a muscle system it's a little bit tedious to set it up but it's easier to control and it is fast especially if you are under uh, tight deadline and you don't want to use my muscle system which uh, require uh, quite a big cache of your hard disk and it is quite slow especially at uh, for this character is only just about I think uh, not much let me display how to display a poly count this character is around 20 yeah 200,000 or whatever if you look at the trees 207,000 only so it's not kind of heavy at all and if I try to use muscle as well it's quite heavy and it takes a long time to bind and to skin and it takes up a lot of time I will show you how to do the advanced muscle system uh, but it's uh, the choice is your in the end 
if you have a good time if you are working on a production which allow you a lot of time you can use a combination of both and I will show you the first step of how to use that you see this is totally joint let me turn off this joint uh, okay and also the wireframe mode so you can see it easily you see when I move up you see the upper arm and also you can twist it around you see of course you don't twist it that way it's stupid uh, okay even though you twist it that way you will have something to compensate especially at the elbow control here easily you can bend it just like that and yeah so look at that see if you go upward you will see okay it's kind of like see a center of like clavicle uh, yeah it's clavicle scapula moving along also if you look at the back okay I have another joint to cover to cover that around here so and come back to the original pose okay and also you look at the neck this is the neck and the head if I move it <coughs> sorry the rest is not uh, constrained properly yet and this one is for hair and fur and muscle and whatever I hide it okay I saw do the camera saturated it so let's take a look at the neck again okay you see you see how uh, you see this neck joint is compensate basically these are also driven key as well but I put an IK SC solver there and I parent them all under this one so when this one is moving up you see it's kind of compensated bulge cause it's to bulge a bit of course it doesn't bulge that much okay but it is just enough to tell you see and also when you twist see each one is moving to compensate especially for this uh, character like uh, this is a giant in in my culture in Cambodian culture especially in Asian culture Cambodian and Thai uh, the same uh, but uh, this is an ogre in Western culture you see it's stretched to compensate one another of course you don't you don't crazily twist it that way it's stupid I mean if you turn up to these degrees or this particular degree, seeing the body will have to move along to compensate for the stupidity in the skin. So, guy, I hope you understand. If you have any more further questions, if you have any further questions, you can ask me on YouTube channel. And I will show you the next episode of how that is uh, going to work with the Maya Advent muscle. Okay. Thank you for watching. Oh, by the way, I'm using Sena S7, anyway.